Alright guys, the awesome Jim here and today I'll show you how to make a countdown that automatically counts down without you having to refresh the page and we're gonna do this with PHP and jQuery Ajax so let's start so I made this uh, HTML5 document and inside that I'll create a paragraph with the custom attribute called timer uh, we'll use that so that we can easily select this attribute and then I'm gonna call it time left and you know 10 seconds or something like that so for now let's just keep it to this all right, now we're gonna create. I created two folder, one for JS, one for PHP. So let's create the PHP file. The first file we're gonna create is a timer.php file, or you can call it whatever you want. And in here, I'm gonna write date. We need a default time zone set up, and I'm gonna use Ica slash Chicago because that's my time zone I'm pretty sure that's how you spell it alright then I'm gonna do the time now well the time for example registered if you wanna see how long that be registered or countdown start we can also call that time countdown start and we have to type in string to time basically it parses the a unix space time to seconds um, so in here we put the actual time in and the format for this is the year the month the day the hour the minutes and the seconds so I'm gonna do the current time I have in here so like I just registered now and we can do time countdown in to be you know the time that will be you know after two hours so I'm gonna do minus two hour actually this is when it's gonna end this is when it's gonna start cuz that's another way of doing it alright so I'm gonna do time left equals time countdown start minus countdown end and then we can in the body let's include the script okay so in order for that to work we need to actually rename this file to PHP and now we can do we can include the file in here and which is inside the PHP folder and keep that in mind this is not a PHP or a time tutorial this is just to show you how to actually do it <laughs> this shouldn't be a tutorial at all. I'm too tired to make a tutorial now. All right, so after that, we can do this and just echo out. Just echo out the time left pretty sure that's what I called it 
time left. Yes. So now, if we see that and won't see it, of course, it wasn't configured properly. My bad. All right. So we should see that the um that's kind of odd. <laughs> All right, so I'm doing the opposite. Let's we have to do this. All right, so you know the problem with this is that you have to refresh to see the updated time. And to fix that, we need to actually use something called Ajax. So we'll do that now. So what we need to do is first of all create the uh, J JavaScript file, and I'm gonna name this timer and make sure to also include your JavaScript file and if you go to their website you will be able to find the link to this so we can just do go to the head and we can just do script type javascript source and done then end of script and it will tell you there's no locally stored javascript but that's fine because it's just for the testing purposes it's good to have it locally then we can go and include our script which is script source and timer.js make sure that's a javascript file you don't need to do that but I always like to do that and we're going back in here we're gonna do function and that this this is basically a quick way to do uh, this function will run whenever the page loads it's a quicker way to do this and then we wanna catch this element so we're gonna go here and type by tarmer text equals dollar timer this is not a jQuery tutorial so I don't feel like explaining that this is not a tutorial at all keep that in mind um, then we're gonna have an interval so we're gonna update this every second so to do that we just do set interval function and then the delay we're gonna do one second is count as a millisecond and then we do you know after in every second we wanna post something to the PHP script or file so we do dollar sign dot post and then we do PHP slash the file name basically where the file is located and then we do a key and value we can have multiple of this and so I'm going to do type equals timer update and we can also have more I'm pretty sure actually it's gonna be this not equals sorry and then we will have a function after when this returns anything you know when the PHP script decide to call back something so for that we'll have the function and 
as a parameter will have the data that it returned and this can be shut off now then all we have to do is go to timer text dot html and then in here we can just copy paste this and instead of this we do plus um, data so this will be the seconds <sighs> yeah what's wrong with that hmm yes hmm for some reason it can't resolve the method HTML it should be able to I will check that out so yeah so now this is posting it so we need to receive that in this file so to do that we'll do is set so it basically checks if uh, the the value you know whatever we put here if it's null or if it's like set basically so whenever you set a variable it will make make it so that it returns true and if it's not set then will return false and instead of that is to be the name which is type and we're just going to check to see if it's true and when I do 3 equals sign it doesn't really care about the data type it could be a string it could be a boolean just anything that has a value of true so it could be this too and then after that I'll check and see um, if the value of this type is equal to timer update oops <laughs> I did that wrong alright so yeah we want to check the value of this if it's true if it exists, if it exists, then what is it? And if the value is timer update, then what do we want to do? If it's the timer update, then we want to echo. Basically, this is going to send him back some data, you know, this data in here. So that data should be time left and let's try that out and as you can see there's that countdown hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later